Okay, hello everyone, my name is Mark. Thank you for watching my first video here on YouTube. I hope you will like it and thank you for being my first viewer. In this video I'm gonna tell you what you need to expect if you want to come here from Europe to Florida in the United States. Uh, firstly, you will see that the temperature here is way higher than in Europe and humidity is also high. Uh, we came here with my wife for baby delivery in January and the temperature was around 25 degrees almost every day so it was quite hot at that time we were living near Miami on Hollandale Beach that's a really nice place if you want to come there with your girlfriend or wife or kids because the ocean is great there are, it's not so overcrowded as in Miami but it's really close to Miami, like it takes like 30 minutes to, to go to the downtown in Miami from, from Hallandale Beach. And uh, yeah, you will like it. The second thing which you will, exp you will see the difference, that everything here is in miles, in uh, food. And even if you want to buy uh, the fuel, you will uh, buy it in gallons, not in liters. Oh. Let me show you alligator. Yeah, I just... That's also what you need to expect <laughs> to see in Florida. Uh, there is some some pot, some, some lake around the buildings, you know, and the allig alligators are really common here. So, continue my story about the gallons. So that's the difference which you will see, that everything here is not in liters. You will not see how much liters per, per 100 kilometers you spent, but you will see how much miles per gallon uh, your car use. Uh, actually, it's like not so difficult to, to remember it. Just know that if you drive a car in the city and you see that you spend like 20 miles per per gallon in the city, it's like, okay. Um, during this time, we booked uh, four cars, uh, one Ford, one Chevrolet Malibu, one Dodge Challenger, and basically Ford was the worst one. <laughs> I even forgot the name, it was like Ford, uh, don't remember it, some sedan. And I guess there, was, there were some problems with the engine because it was taking us like 12 miles per gallon and it was like really bad because for example Malibu took uh, took us around 18 miles per gallon per gallon in the city uh, right now we have Toyota Camry here with my wife and uh, we have like 24 miles per gallon so Toyota is really great and everyone here in the United States will recommend you if you want to get a car get a Toyota because they are reliable and Actually, they, they are really nice cars. I never thought about that because in Europe, in Poland, we even didn't look at Toyotas because, you know, some BMW, some Audi looks way better than Toyota. But here in the United States, I changed my mind and we bought a Toyota Camry and we like it. So that's the second issue what you will see. The third issue would be food quality of the food here in the United States is way worse than in European Union. Of course, maybe you live in UK, because in UK quality also is not so good of the food. But if you live in Germany, France, even Poland, Italy, you will think like, come on, how, how, how they can eat it? Because you go to the supermarket, for example, you go to the Walmart. In Walmart, you can only buy vegetables. Because if you compare vegetables, vegetables from Walmart or from Publix or Whole Foods, they pretty the same, but cost less. But in Walmart, you will be not able to buy to buy a good meat, beef, pork, chicken. The quality of it would be really bad. Even the price would be near similar to the Whole Foods or Publix, but still the quality of it would be worse, way worse. And uh, that's what you need to expect. Of course, you can go to the restaurant, to the cafe and eat there, 
but just be honest with you you go there you eat there and then you go to the supermarket and buy some stuff which is which you which you which you need just to warm up that basically is the same but you will pay twice more so i do not see any reason why to do that i prefer to cook by myself so maybe in this uh, blog i will also show you some tips how to cook really nice stuff and which is healthy and really good for you for your girlfriend wife kids so i hope you will like it so that's the, the third issue the fourth issue would be also connected with the cars because roads are here way wider than in European Union and you need to know the drivers here really bad uh, you will never see if someone is turning the lights uh, to change the lane you like it's really rare to such to see such drivers in Florida and mostly of them they they just turn without showing that they're gonna turn so you you need to be every time you need to be ready because you never know what's gonna happen but quality of the roads is great they are white they 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 big even in the city it's really easy that on the one-way drive there would be like three or four lanes so like you never see something like this in in europe probably on the highways you can see some some stuff like this but in the city never i never saw it uh, but here in the united states it's really common uh, i've traveled actually by my car only in florida i've been in miami in orlando in tampa in some different cities also as well but all of them pretty the same so you will like you will see that there is not so many architecture here in the united states which is really old or nice basically everything is pretty the same all cities are pretty the same everywhere you will see the fast food the gas stations <laughs> some some uh, some some malls you know and if you see the, fo uh, the, the, the fast food you will probably know that soon you will see some McDonald's Burger King Brown some some donuts you know so like in every city everything is the same if we if we look at it as a as an infrastructure you know so yeah that's that's also what what is uncommon here in european union because in european union almost every country is unique every city is unique and here it will be hard for you to find something really the same but here in the united states for example we were living in uh, near miami in houndale beach for for almost three months and right now we are only living here in Orlando for one month but sometimes when I'm driving here on, on in Orlando I think like come on that, that's like basically the same the same thing you know the same object the five thing which you need to know is that in Florida you will see a lot of alligators I don't know if you can see it but here it's a small alligator it's, it's just a lake around some buildings you know where I'm walking and it's pretty common to see them they mostly they will not harm you they will stay away from you uh, but if you see a big guy just be aware do not come to him really close there are some signs on such uh, pots lakes rivers uh, springs you know where it's written that please do not leave your child close to the water please do not uh, allow your pets to to be close to the water because you know what, what's gonna happen right and the fix the sixth uh, issue which i see here it's like really really uncommon to see someone walking around usually here in United States, everywhere is quiet. There are no people at all because all of them are driving cars. They do not spend so much time uh, just just walking, you know, around because that's 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 difficult, you know. Even if you like, you are renting an apartment, 
and if you want to go to the cafe. If you do not live in a downtown, like us, we live not like 15 minutes from the downtown, it's impossible for us to go to some cafe without car, because, <laughs> because there are no cafes at all. So that's what you need to know. But nature, I never thought that nature in the United States would be so good. You know, they really protect the nature. I was studying in Poland environmental management and, uh, you know, uh, I like United States. That's basically everything which I wanted to tell you about United States, about my experience here and on my first video. On the next video, I'm going to tell you what to do if you want to come here and stay here in the United States. Um, but you need to have a visa. I hope you like it. Enjoy my next videos too. Please comment. I will try to answer all your questions. And see you on my second video.